Hey, what's going on guys? Mindicute77B here. Welcome back to another episode of NASCAR Thunder 2004. This is episode number 161 today for the MBNA Armed Forces Family 400 at our one of our home races here in Dover Motor Speedway. Oh boy, our happiness rating of the sponsorship is not so well. It's It's been a whole battle of just battling the damn happiness because we're at a turning point. We really can't get it below 50, otherwise there's a chance of it not being able to uh, stay on there and I wouldn't know what to do. Damn, this press his expectations are stupidly ridiculous in the late game. Honestly, so so bad. It's just not. I mean, I mean, honestly, it's not that great game design. But that's just me anyway. Pick crew, pick crew, pick crew. What am I going to do with you? Seriously, what am I going to do with you? You've kind of kind of cost us there in the uh, the whole race at uh, Charlotte. Well, I don't know what to say, but I know it's not his fault. But we need we need a better we need a better catch can, catch can man. I know it's not his fault. I understand it's not his fault. But Mr. Walker, welcome aboard. We need we need we need faster pit pit crews apparently. We need more reliable pit crew members apparently. I guess the Jack man Jack man has been fine honestly even despite the 88 rating. But we need faster pit stops obviously. So it's a tough business. I am a tough person to please. I am not an easy person to to impress. But we got we got a lot of work to do here in the shop, though, actually, because we got some stuff we can sell and just, of course, work on. We're gonna sell this chassis. We're gonna go build ourselves another one. Actually, I might not do that because in two races time, the wheel balancer, probably our final uh, shop edition upgrade of the of the career mode, is in. So <laughs> I'm a little bit reluctant to uh, build another one right now. Hindsight, I probably should not have sold sold that one, but. Okay, we're gonna overhaul this one for right now. We're probably gonna keep it a three, uh, a three uh, engine also operation at the moment as well. We're probably not even gonna bother touching the uh, engines right now anyway. I'm gonna sell this one. Yeah, we're probably gonna hold off on building another uh, engine for a little while anyway. But we can get we can get some work all done here. We'll overhaul this one, 82 to 90. What is this one? Uh, 81 to 88. So we're, so this one loses. Goodbye. To the Shadow Realm with you. And we'll overhaul this one. That way they'll be in time. We're not going to build anything in another two races because of the uh, Shop Edition upgrades you saw there before. Yeah, so that's all about the team management there. Um, of course, ourselves. We're now in fifth, but now there's a battle between Stuart and Gordon for the ch championship anyway. It's a five-car dogfight right now. Like, Junior's trying to get up there but to make it six-way battle, but it's a five-person dogfight right now between Stuart, Gordon, Labonte's not so far behind either. Harvick kind of stumbled a little bit, so that's why his his points battle is kind of, like, falling off right now. And ourselves, the defending champs. A rocky start and a rocky race at uh, Auto Club really kind of set us back a little. But it's okay. We're right. We're, we're going to fight our way back like we normally do. Normal paint scheme for this week at Dover. I'm um, thinking Pocono will probably bring back another paint scheme or two anyway. So let's get this show on the road. I was... Alright. Alright. I gotta bring out the best chassis for this. As for the engine... Okay, so the engine situation is actually not that great. We're gonna be using all three of these engines in, in, in the uh, next three races. We're probably gonna use this one for... For this one for Dover now. This one's gonna be used for Pocono. And this one's got to be used for Michigan because we need to somehow find a way to make it only one stop. And we're back on the default setup, so that en engine rev limiter is going to be really high. And there's no, I don't, I don't know how the AI do it. They're just, they're just god at that point. And well, we can actually kind of get away with the less downforce at Pocono anyway. So we can actually use this uh, more downforce one. We kind of need more downforce anyway, at Dover. But um. Yeah, absolutely. So we're going to go straight to our home race, our first of two home races in a row. I love this point of the season, but now we got work to do. We got to, I mean, Dover is a type of track where it's tight, or at least for, for our custom setups, where we kind of fall off in the end. And I'm sure this setup's going to be extremely tight. So let's see how we can handle it. Of, co of course, as well, we got to make sure we're in the default setup as well. I've done, a, I've done something wrong with that. We're going to set our transmission back to manual. Just as visual proof of me just actually like changing it, changing it up, make sure it's all the default setup, and let's go get our qualifying lap done here. Alrighty, Dover is of course a very tough track, and they will call it the Monster Mile for nothing. The lap time we need to beat is a 21.67.7. Oh, that's not easy. That's not going to be an easy thing to do with this setup. I'll tell you what, this thing is 
plowing tight, but I mean plowing tight badly. I mean, that's what happens when you do a default run like this now. Up, oh, alright, gotta get ourselves set up for the second lap, that's fine. Dart down, try to straighten it up. Try to get ourselves a good run in the turn one. At the back end, try to kick out a little bit. Try to get about 150 and run to like the middle, bottom to middle line. Get up towards the wall, and I'm gonna try to do the same thing. Oh, this might be it. This this could this could be this could be the uh this could be pole actually. Let's see. We got 64, 21, 64. We start in fourth. Oh my goodness. So Rocket Man Ryan Newman gets the pole. We get fourth. Elliot Sadler gets seventh. Okay, so the hard part's done. Now we just got to get get ourselves a good top five run. Make sure Tony Stewart does stays back there as well. We got to please UPS with this because this what is their expectations, honestly? Welcome to Delaware for the running of the MBNA Armed Forces Family 400 at Dover International Speedway. Now, Barney, this is one of the tougher tracks that we come to. Why is that? This place has got high bank concrete corners that can be really tricky for some drivers. You've got to always be thinking ahead in this race and planning your passes well. Otherwise, you may quickly find yourself in the wall. The 88 car has had a couple of incidents on the track with Steve Park. Every driver in Winston Cup has had a bit of trouble on the racetrack at one time or another. As long as they keep their composure, everything should work out okay. I always love going to the Monster Mile each year, now, whether it's in this game now. or in real life. I can't wait to be go back again. Probably going to bring a couple of my buddies along with us. Or I'm thinking about going to Dover anyway, so I hope I get to see them again. I get to see them at Pocono anyway. But anyways, enough about that. Got 100 laps around this place. Another 100 laps. Oh my goodness, we have a huge getaway. I never thought we'd, get, we'd see the day where we get like a huge like like acceleration off the line. I never thought about that to begin with. Oh, but we immediately get what what follows immediately. It was just getting absolutely tight on that middle line. Being on the middle is not where I want to be at all, especially since this thing is absolutely washing up bad. Okay, Home Depot cars working against with each other as we nearly lose the car. After that, we're gonna give a little brotherly brotherly shove with for uh, Tony Stewart here. He probably didn't like that one bit. We have his teammate along the inside. We don't want that at all. We gotta fight real hard just not to get just not to uh, clobber anybody all right starting on the outside not a good thing to happen all right excuse me Sadler I gotta go around you buddy this car is not like the others at Dover I've been part of I'm used to having a much faster and looser car now this thing is uh well it's like any other Ford in real life really it just plows like a goddamn dumpster truck but that's the team that we signed <laughs> Don't tell Robert Yates that, though. Oh, I am I am a digging, Sheldon. I am a digging. I don't know what you else you want me to tell you. I'm only going forward. I promise. I'm only going to go forward from here on out. I promise you. All right, we make it up. We're trying to make our move down the inside of Mark, and we're up another position. But oh God, it plows. We just gained a spot, now we lost a spot. So now the car is going to be even tighter, I think. We hit the right, we hit the right side. It's going to be a long day, but I feel like the latter, the latter part of the run, because of our high tire wear stat, we'll be able to reel these guys down in no problem whatsoever. I think. That's why I think. That's why I think the scoop is going to be. Yeah, I'm trying. I'm trying, Sheldon. I really am trying to stake with them, but it's just this car is a totally different animal. I'm sure as the race goes on, I'll figure out how to drive this thing and actually figure out how to make passes and whatnot, but yeah, middle line, just, I mean, it's not like the other car where I can actually kind of, you know, run with it really well. That's just basically no man's land. It's not like I can make I can make it work anymore, even though I'll be slower on the compared to the bottom, but at least I won't, like, you know, 
go launch myself off a cliff into the, into the uh, you know, Monster Miles, Miles the Monster's Jaws. Hold on, we got a run right here. Off of Labani, we can make the pass on him and retake the sixth place spot. Sixth place spot. Now we got Kurt Busch, who is having a really decent um, stretch of races, I will say that. He's now sitting in the top five. Jeff Gordon, the, the, our Charlotte winner, is now in fourth. I think he has like, I think he has like two or three wins now as well. I'm surprised he's, I mean, he's not leading yet, but he might take the point lead after this race, this race if, if this goes well. Let's see, we got, I think that's Michael Waltrip in third. Yeah, I think that's Mikey in third. Michael Waltrip having a really good start to this race at Dover. Go on, son. I always like it when I see Mikey up there, and that's not a super speedway. Why not? I like I like to see different faces up towards the front, you know. Well, we caught Jeff up to Jeff Gordon. We can try to make the move down here this time. Here we got a little bit of a brotherly shove for Mr. Wonder Boy here. We're not clear as of yet. We kind of have to might have to do this all over again. It's starting to come sort of towards the, towards the, towards the, towards life anyway. It's starting to somewhat do it, but I need to be clear of Wonder Boy here. Uh, there we go. Up to P4, now up, up next is, is one of our mans, Michael Waltrip, who's been a really huge help, you know, for us last season with the funding. Can't thank him enough. We tried to give him a win for Talladega. We tried, boys. We can't w get anybody to win Talladega to save our life. All right, right front wearing down at 17 laps. That's not exactly what I was hoping for. I think I think uh, it was like 15 laps or so after, um, you know, the, the other times we race anyway so I guess there's a bit of a difference there I think we're gonna start reeling these guys in after a little bit a little while though because of our huge tire wear stat so now it's actually <laughs> now it's actually paying dividends that we invested in tire wear but I see Tony Stewart right behind me coming after uh, Mark Martin uh, I don't know how much longer I want to see that though because because Jeff Gordon I think is starting to fall off a little bit ever since we uh, gave him a little bit of contact But of course, for right now, it's it's all about just trying to make sure we finish ahead of good old smoke here. We need good pit stops all race long, though, guys. We can't afford what we had at Charlotte. Tell you what, though, they are running. Ryan is running away. Michael Walter is sitting in a comfortable third spot place spot right now. Yeah, we're about five seconds back. This thing just I'm just getting to the point where I'm just diamonding the corners at this point. This thing is just not turning at all. And don't mind the huge stripe there. Uh, you saw nothing. I cut that out anyway. You, you saw nothing. I, that was not totally not me. For, uh, wondering what the wall tasted like as I licked it. Totally not. I'm kind of just backing up Mark and Tony right now. I don't know when to pit, to be honest. I kind of want to pit now, like pit like lap 33. But if I do that, I need to push like out of the gate. So I don't know, maybe lap 35 is a good sweet spot. Fittipaldi, please no. Of all races, just not now, okay? I'll even give you a brotherly shove not to do that again. Don't do that. I don't even know if I want to wait till lap 33, sorry, 35. I might have to come in early. I don't want to I don't want to wait till lap 33, but I don't know. If I I, I kind of want to need to wait till 35 though, I think. Sheldon, I know. The, ol the only thing I can say positively is the right front just hit very, you know, very worn here. If it was like the other setup, it would have been like, I think, like lap 27 where that would have happened. But that would have been much better to handling. I gotta, I gotta go. Bad. They all said the same thing. <laughs> Fuck, they all said the same thing. Uh, I was not hoping for that. I was uh, not hoping for that. I was really hoping they would uh, stay out. So maybe I'll have to come in early the next time. That's going to bite me in the ass, though, if I were to do that, though. Maybe it was a good idea to go long on the first a little bit. All right, thank you guys for the much better stop. Unfortunately, that didn't matter, though. We're going to have to fight with Tony Stewart to get out. And that's a minus 86 now. Okay. That was, a, I guess, a 30. All right. So 
Uh, new plan. Run. <laughs> run, but unfortunately, Mark Martin's down there. <laughs> new plan. Run. <laughs> Good to know. New plan. Run. D get around Mark and just run. I don't care. I'm going to have to give you a brotherly shove, my two, my guy. Oh! saw nothing. Kamikaze saw nothing. Don't tell him. He pretty much had it with you. A lot of people say the same thing all the time. They have, a, they have it with me. So I think the pit cycle is, I guess, close to being done anyway. I don't see anybody else. I don't see the blue dot change in any way. I think that's Newman. You know, it's Dale Jr. So maybe it'll change. Alright. Oh, they're leaving pit road now. Hmm. Uh... Did we lose time on pit road? I hope not. Well, not really. We're about a five and a half back still. I well, all right. The traffic is basically gone. We're still we're kind of like where we settled up really in P4. That's fine. As long as we get a top five, that's the main goal. I I forget where kind of everyone else is at the points. I just know Tony Swords leading, and I know Jeff Gordon is like second. Oh boy. Oh no. Oh no. Mark has unleashed the beast. He unleashed the beast. Oh no, Mark. Did I damage you that badly, my dude? <laughs> He's like, Mr. Stewart, kill him. And I'm like, I do not want any part of this. If he gets to my inside, we're fucked. We're dead. We are absolutely dead if he goes into our inside. Like, I might as well start writing my last will right now. Oh no. Oh, especially when it's up to 80 range, too. They'll, they'll, they won't give a fuck. They'll run right into the back of you, too. Oh, he's, he's really close now. I can't let him go either. That's the thing. I can't let him go. I, I can't afford to. I'm going to have to do some uh, really uh, aggressive blocking anyway. Michael Waltrip is now in second, by the way. Go, Mikey. Go. I'm okay with you winning this race if you can anyway. I mean, good luck beating, beating Ryan Newman, though. The fact that Michael Waltrip's in second. Uh-oh. Oh, no. No, 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 Again, you saw nothing. He might? No, he will. He will. Stop saying he might. He's going to. I just said no before that even happened. I know that you know about that. I know. I got it. I got the concept, Sheldon. I got it. I know the situation at hand. If I have to do it again, I gotta do it to him again. Then I know he's faster, but I can't. I can't afford to let him go. I seriously cannot. If he gets up around me, I'm probably never gonna get that back. Him pitting on the same lap as us really screwed us. I feel like Hades in the Hercules movie right now. I know. Oh, there he goes. He's gonna try to run me in the back of me. He does not have the. He does not have the reach yet. Oh, he, he got he got washed up big time. I mean, that's not going to help much. Move out of the way, Tina. Fuck. We washed up because of that. There he is. There he goes. I mean, he did. He did send the message. He licked it and sent it. All right, so sponsorship situation is uh, not good. Um, definitely not now, especially since he's off in the sunset. I'd rather, I'd rather just do that and just let my car get destroyed. Uh, boy. Yeah, it's not like there's any caution that's going to help us out or anything like that either. Dude, you can tell me to dig all you want, but we're, we're, we're not getting that sponsorship money at all. I wonder if Stuart has, like, a short-run car, because now I'm starting to feel like I'm reeling him back in. But it, it definitely helps that Mikey's backing him up for us. <laughs> thank you, Mikey. Uh, Mikey, thank you. You're a fucking lifesaver, my, my guy. I know you're trying to race your own race. You're running, in, you're running a, a solid P3, probably gonna about to be P4. But thank you. Thank you so much, Mikey. Thank you. Please keep me in this fight. Please keep me in this fight. I got Jeff Gordon behind me as well. <laughs> no, I, I need to keep behind, keep ahead of him now. So when do I pit? Honestly, when do I pit? I actually do not know what to do at this point. My car keeps washing up because I'm driving, overdriving it. No, he's not. 
I don't know what to do. I'm probably I'm probably gonna have to wait till like 67 or 8 just to get ourselves into a pit stop pit cycle situation. I mean, Stuart and I pitted on the same lap, which is what kind of screwed us up a little bit. Oh, I can't get a good corner out of that one. This traffic is really what's helping me right now, and I can't even keep, keep up still, and I have a, a little bit more clear, cleaner air. Oh, no. Gordon's car just handles better than mine. Ugh. Damn it. Oh, okay. I didn't realize that was a 60. I thought that was only a 30. All right. Well, that just kind of fucked us there. I didn't realize that was a 60. I thought that was a 30. The leaderboard didn't show it. I just oh, I just got burnout threed. Yeah, it's really bad. I gotta get in. There's 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 nothing I can do. I can't hold on to this thing anymore. I got a good solid pit entry here. The 41 car is outside. We're down a spot. Keep digging. Okay, we good. Uh, I'm gonna have to say no to that. I'm gonna have to say no to the damage repair. I don't want to, but I got to. I got to do something about that. All right, good stop. That was good. Now, I gotta drive it like I stole it. Oh my goodness, that was a LePage. That was a LePage. Somehow I'm alive. Probably not for long because I just LePaged Mark Martin. I just absolutely Kevin LePaged Mark Martin. But Kevin LePage is no longer in this game. Oh my gosh. Uh, again, run. I can't. I really can't afford to have a caution right now. We, if we do, we're fucked. <laughs> oh no! What have I done? Well, there's Mikey, so that's one spot down. I hope this works. I hope the short pit works. We we really need to get ahead of Stewart like badly. Like this. This is the only way this is gonna work. I don't think he's come down pit road yet, which is concerning. I'm trying to look for him. I don't. I don't. I just don't see him yet. The game thinks I'm two laps down, by the way, but it, but we're not. We're still one lap down. Winning this race, not happening. But 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 top five, I really need. It. I really not only need that, but I also need to get around uh, um, Stewart badly. So we're at 11th. So this could be 10th, I think. No. All right, so we got ahead of Stewart. That's the great news. The bad news is he's gonna reel us in like a fucking fish. And he's minus 96. Oh boy. We only got 20, uh, 25 going to be 24 laps to go in this race. So we're in six now. The pit cycle is still not done yet. We got Ward. No, not Ward. Okay. I am scared for my life right now. I already know how like Dover races can get with the fucking tire wear. All right, this might be the end of the pit cycle here. We're probably gonna end up in third. We got third right now, so we got some, we got some we got some uh, leeway. We got some leeway. We got a gap. Now we just gotta hold on to it for 20 laps. We gotta build as much of a gap as we can. These lap traffic is not helping at all, by the way. It is not helping. Joe, get out of my way. You you don't want to see me when I'm angry. Also, we got some teammates. We got Labani being in the way now for um, Stewart. So let's see how Stewart will get around the traffic anyway. Short pitting kind of works here, but at the same time, it somewhat doesn't. All right, so let's see. Where is second place at? Uh, so, oh, it's Harvick leading now. The closer is now now leading the race instead of Newman. So maybe that was the uh, the nail in the coffin for, for uh, Newman's race anyway by pitting late. Who knows, though? Dover has always been having exciting finishes with the tire wear. Meanwhile, I am just running for my life. And we got Jeff Gordon, who's also a logo rival as well. I don't know where he's at, but... Oh, fuck. That, he did not... He just completely left the door wide open for... Uh... <laughs> oh, no. 
<laughs> uh, for Stuart. Oh, no. Oh, oh, no. I, I think I gotta be silent from here on out. Oh, fuck. Yeah, he's already there. He's already there. That's not good, guys. He's, he's already there. I might have to do something dastardly. Something out of character like. And I think he, I think, I think you might know what I have to do here. <laughs> it's all because of the sponsorship deal, Tony, I promise. If it wasn't at 50, I would have let you go. But because it is, I'm going to have to do something I don't want to do. <laughs> all right, come at me, Stuart. Bring it on. <laughs> Bring it on, my man. Sadler, <laughs> teammate, team orders, please. <laughs> Hold up the 20. I don't think I'm going to be able to get to you. He's gonna send me to the fucking Shadow Realm in the middle of the corner. Oh, there he goes. Like I said. Oh my god, I killed him! Oh my god, I killed him! That hit killed him? Not surprisingly, the crowd did not like that one. I didn't think that would kill him. I mean, I gotta, I gotta make a late race charge here, guys. But I didn't think that would actually kill him. Oh my goodness, we just killed Tony Stewart. I didn't think, I didn't think that was actually gonna happen. Also, I was trying to slow him down. No, his engine expired because we just put him into the wall. That was not part of the script, I swear. I was trying to slow him down. Nobody else decided to come in. We gotta make up 10 spots. We got fresh tires. Oh, well, we're already breaking more rules already because we just passed on the inside like three or four cars because of the massive acceleration that we just happened to get. What is Mark at? Oh, he's at a 90. Oh boy. All right. I gotta be, I'm pretty sure karma is gonna happen like right here. So I gotta be really careful here around Mark. Fuck it. We're not being careful. I mean, Stuart, I mean, I don't know. What do you want me to do about, about Mark anyway? But, but Stuart, he has every right to fucking send me to the Shadow Realm now. He has every right at that point forward to just send me to the Shadow Realm. Oh my goodness. Uh, we're just moving everybody. We're, we're just moving everybody. Kurt, I got it. I got it. Give you a brotherly sh oh i'm not gonna give you a brotherly shove i thought i was so we gotta get around mikey uh no we gotta get around two cars crap five laps to go we gotta do it we gotta do we gotta pass two cars we gotta pass mikey and uh jimmy in five laps I we gotta do it <laughs> otherwise this all would not be worthwhile all right so we're gonna send it down here we're gonna get we're gonna get around mikey we got four laps to get to get to uh p5 it's probably gonna be jim a that we're gonna have to put pass here here we go, two laps to go. We gotta make get around one of these guys, Jimmy or Junior. It's most likely gonna be Jimmy. Sending it down the inside already, but we didn't we've got kinda have our nose clipped off right then and there. We gotta go send it down the inside with, with Jimmy one last time. We There we go. We're not in the P5 yet, and we are now. Kevin Harvick is still leading the way. He has one lap to go. J J Gordon's gonna try to make go back to back, but I don't think it's gonna happen. We could try to steal away fourth away from June Bug as well. Unless we wash up like that, and we won't. We won't be able to get fourth here, it looks like. But what a way to end a very, very controversial race at Dover. We end up top five, but at what cost? We sold our souls to the devil, guys. I don't know what to say about that. We sold our souls to the devil. Lead changes were pretty scarce. Yeah, I guarantee you there's at least 35 or 40 other drivers who wish they had seen the lead.
the UPS Ford gets a strong top five finish. Well, there's nothing wrong with a top five finish, that's for sure. The 88 car has begun a new rivalry on the racetrack. You don't make it into Winston Cup racing without being competitive, and sometimes these instincts get a little out of hand. Should be fun to see what happens next. We hope you enjoyed today's broadcast of NASCAR Winston Cup Racing on MRN, the voice of NASCAR. So it ended up being Kevin Harvick who gets the dub here today at Dover Motor Speedway, beating out the, the board dominant Ryan Newman after a late, you know, late race pit call. He managed to keep that track position going the entirety of the of the way. As for us, though, who we lost a lot of respect out there. I'm not gonna lie, we just kind of bullied our way over. We kind of did things the uh, Philadelphia way, kind of just bully everybody or whatnot, or play as defensive as possible. I did not mean to kill Tony Stewart there. I did not mean to at all. I was hoping to slow him down. That was the point, was to get a caution all out of him and just work our way back up. Yeah, as we try to wash the blood off that's off our hands, Happy Harvick will get himself a dub here at the Monster Mile, and I'm pretty sure he's going to remember this one for a while. What the hell, UPS? So we got the finishing results of Dover. Ryan Newman was running away with it, but unfortunately that last pit stop really costed him. Harvick wins. Gordon gets up, ends up second. Ryan Newman third. Jeff Gordon. Jeff Gordon, wow. Dale Jr. fourth and ourselves in P5. A very undeserving, but also very controversial P5. I mean, obviously the crowd didn't like that. I'm pretty sure you, your guys didn't like that. That's not how I race. You know you know that. But desperate times come from desperate measures from UPS. So I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know what to say about that. Uh, Auto Club really kind of hurt us badly, I suppose. Jimmy got sixth. Jeff Burton seventh. Well, we saw the top ten already. We got Kurt Busch, Waltrip, and, J and Ward Burton gets up ten, gets a top ten. Jeff Green almost gets a top ten as well. As you can see the rest of the, uh, the field here. All right. Well, how bad did I screw over uh, Tony here? Uh, pretty bad, actually. 42nd. I, yeah, I I got blood on my hands, folks. We're probably going to be receiving some phone calls. <laughs> I mean, if if there was a scene, like, in the uh, other NASCAR games where they, like, you know, they show a post-race feist, that would have been it. But, of course, that doesn't get introduced until, like, the next game, which is Chase for the Cup. But, uh, wow. <laughs> uh, how bad did I screw him over, actually? Really bad. Oh my goodness. Yeah, we're we're gonna have to find our ways to uh hide all the uh hide a dead body. Uh we got Jeff Gordon now leading the points over Harvick. Labani now is in third place. We set Stewart back to sixth. A hundred and twenty seven points back after leading by thirty one or so. Well, we got to even the playing field somehow, right? <laughs> uh, n n no, no, I, I, that's not that's not funny at all. Like that's 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 no. How was that not move of the race though? By the way, come on, at least have at least give me that. Yeah, definitely. Uh, definitely not the cleanest way of getting things done. I know. I don't. I'm not proud of what I did either. I'm definitely not proud, but. Listen, we had to do what we had to do, and guess what? It's only worth two fucking happiness points. I mean, let's be honest. Realistically, UPS would not have been happy to see that either. So that'll be it for uh, Pocono anyway. Not Pocono, that's the next episode. That'll be it for Dover, by the way. I mean, we fought hard. We kind of did some interesting tactics in order to get what we needed to do. But then we got po Pocono next, and... Uh, Michigan to following up. So you like the episode, uh, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. You probably want to hit that up subscribe button actually because of what I did to Tony Stewart. I know all the Tony Stewart fans are probably doing that right now. They're all, they're all ready to march over to where I live and just bang on my door loudly. Like what the fuck have you done to Tony Stewart? Uh, and I'm going to tell you, uh, nothing promise. <laughs> we know that's a lie. Of course. Anyways, if you like the, if you like the video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. It helps out the channel quite a bit. And as always, we'll see you at Pocono.